have a direct current generator. It's uh, related to the direct current motor. Matter of fact, we're using the same basic equipment we had for the direct current motor. But in the direct current motor, we supplied current to the rotor and that caused it to rotate. The generator is just the opposite. We're going to cause the rotor to rotate and that will cause electricity to be generated. So uh, what we do is we run the string through here. And as we do that, you see that the needle on the galvanometer fluctuates a little bit, but it stays on the same side of zero the whole time. Since it's always staying on the same side of zero, that indicates it's direct current. It's always going through the galvanometer in the same direction. The way this works is, as you rotate the rotor, the orientation of the external magnetic field with the rotor keeps changing because of that rotation. That's another way to, in, to induce a current. It's another way to have a changing magnetic flux to induce a current. That current keeps uh, switching through the coil. So one time it goes through this way, one time it goes through that way, but we have that split ring, the same split ring we had on the DC motor, and that split ring causes the current out here in the wires to always go through in the same direction. Here we have an alternating current generator. It does not have a split ring, so we don't get that uh, direct current effect. And if I run the string through causing that rotor to rotate, you see the needle on the galvanometer goes on both sides of zero, alternating positive, negative, positive, negative. So that's an example of an alternating current generator.